You got clutch. What's going on, people? It's your main man, Johnny Clutch Cards, aka Johnny Clutch Crypto, back again with another helium update video. Um, you know, let's jump into the numbers. We have a lot to discuss in this particular episode. Once again, 844,000 hotspots worldwide in 175 different countries across the globe. Let's take a look at our hotspots and see how they are doing. I just like to drill down here. Look at, man, you can see how it's just built out, man. That's, that's funny. If you guys have been with me a long time, man, you, you definitely remember when this was not that field. I should be in this one right here, right? Yeah. All right. So here we are. Let's take a look at our friend Rare Carmine Otter first, since it is easily the best helium hotspot we know of. Um, it made 0.83 in the last 24 hours, five over the last seven days, four, uh, 11 HNT over the last 14 days, and 22 HNT. Was well, a little bit low. It's less than one. It used to pretty much average one HNT per day almost. So, you know, it, it's suffering a little bit. It's it's maybe feeling the feeling the pain a little bit. Let's take a look at our Abel Bronze tape here. Uh, 0.075 over the last 24 hours. So it's a little down. Last seven days, 0.8 HNT. Wow. Last 14 days, 2.6. In the last 30 days, 5.5 HNT or 56 bucks and 23 cents worth. All right, let's take a look in here. Jump into here, let's take a look. Snowy Soren, Snowy Parakeet, I believe is down. We need to go check him. Yeah, he's inactive, he's down. Let's see, over the last 30 days, very little. All right, so that, that one we need to work on. Let's take a look here. Interesting Raspberry Cricket. Let's take a look at that one. Man, look at look at the activity, man. It's seeing things here. Keep in mind, this particular one, I don't believe is anywhere special. It's literally in a window uh, propped up on the burglar bars against a window. Um, so this is picking up more, what's call it? And, th and that's with a 5.8 DBI antenna. Yeah. Okay. And that's a Mary IOT miner. So not bad. 0 0.0545 HNT, uh, over the last seven days, 0.291 HNT last 14 days, 0.43 HNT. So keep in mind, HNT, I think is around, eight or nine dollars right now we can validate the price here in a second um but it's eight or nine dollars keep in mind all-time highs was around 50 bucks a token um and with the markets being down currently crypto being down currently uh the economy in general being down currently and dealing with inflation a lot of this is to be expected to a certain degree um so you know just hang in there and that that you know, those of us who are already in there, already out here trying to do it and get it, just, you know, just hang in there, hang tough, let the things work. Um, let's take a look at Dizzy Canvas Dalmatian. Boom. Okay, last 24 hours, a little like it's offline. 0.128 over the last seven days. 0.319 over for the last 14 days and point seven two over the last 30 days so less than eight bucks over the last 30 days insane insanely bad right <laughs> but keep in mind this is a base antenna we still need to get the upgraded antenna here i'm still waiting on an antenna order to come in so you know once i get that antenna order um, we'll upgrade that antenna and see if we can improve it um let's come back here take a look at our big dog wonderful jet black marmot See what it, what it's doing. Look, it's doing it's doing big things over here. I like it. Last twenty four hours, point one eight two H and T. Last seven days, point four three six H and T. You see, it has some down days. You know, this one has doesn't have the most reliable internet. It's off a Wi Fi hotspot, so not the most reliable. For last fourteen days, one H and T. 
the last 30 days, 4.1 HNT. So you see it had pretty much a really bad week, a bad run of a week pretty much, and that cost it the rest of the month, pretty much the whole 30 days. Okay, so not looking that bad. 8 DBI antenna. This one is, uh, you know, 12 stories up or so. So not... Not the worst, not the worst overall, but that gives you kind of like an overview. Let's jump back to high spots here. Current price of Agent T. Man, it used to be on this page, didn't it? Huh. They moved it. Okay. Well, no worries. So, before we go to our helium board, let's have a quick chat about hip. 51 right hip 51 this is something that's up for a vote now there's as you can see there's 20 hours and eight minutes 50 54 50 fit 49 48 and counting seconds as it counts down let's take a look at the current vote i think it's overwhelmingly winning still yeah overwhelm overwhelmingly winning because basically your vote is larger depending on how much HNT you hold. So in some cases, there's people who don't mine at all, who have no miners on the network, have not built out the network at all, who actually get more of a say than those of us who are putting in the work to stand up uh, good setups uh, and build out this particular network that are making decisions on the vote. So... If you don't know, if you, uh, you know, as far as helium is concerned, you've been under a rock somewhere, somewhere helium 51, I mean, helium 51, hip 51 seeks to allow helium and its token h &T to become a network of networks, opening the door for multiple network protocols and multiple tokens to exist in the ecosystem. What does that mean? Right? So look up here, helium DAO, right? So the idea would be that there would be, uh, a helium DAO and under each segment of the DAO down here, it talks about hip 52 will create a Laura WAN DAO, which is all the current miners that are, you know, with the exception of maybe like freedom five and the Bobcat, which do 5g would exist under this Laura WAN DAO and hip 53 talks about the 5g DAO, which is where, your Freedom Fives and your uh, new Bobcats would be under the 5G DAO. So basically for every additional network that they added to the Helium ecosystem, it would get its own token. And um, as it generated, uh, you know, depending on how much profit it was generating or how much, you know, how much actual activity it was generating or its proportion of the actual activity being generated, it would distribute um, said amount of a local token. So under each DAO would be a local token. So for lower WAN, there would be uh, an IOT token. For 5G, there would be a mobile token. For Wi-Fi, there would be a Wi-Fi token, so forth and so on. So you would no longer earn HNT, right? You would earn, would earn this dollar IOT token, right? And that dollar IOT token could be automatically transferred into HNT automatically. So you wouldn't have to worry about the conversion. At least that's what was said in the Twitter space from last week by um, um, representatives of, of Helium, of the Helium network who ran a Twitter space to kind of talk about this uh, HIP 51. And basically w what would happen is not, I, I don't have that particular uh, picture that I've been seeing everywhere where they, where they were basically showing the, uh, the uh, opportunity uh, for uh, basically Laura Wynn, where Laura Wynn is only like 1.2% of the pie and uh, 5G is 88% of the pie. Now that is not an accurate depiction of what is to come per se, but it does represent uh, some portion of possibilities because the way it was pitched in the Twitter spaces is, I guess it's, uh, it's better to get a, a, a small piece of a large pie than a large piece of who knows. And that's what they kept saying, who knows, right? Um, and 
you know, it's, it's interesting that they would do this. Um, I think the one thing that is, is being overlooked is the fact that Helium came from an idea of creating what they call the People's Network. It was supported by people. People put their own money up. People got these devices, worked with, worked with these manufacturers to purchase these devices, to plug them in in their homes to provide proof of coverage for an IoT network. Now that they're moving into 5G, right? Uh, now that they're moving into possibly Wi-Fi uh, and, and other forms of networking, where is the reward for the miners that have been here? I see pretty much in every in every uh, every one of these hips, you know, there's a benefit going to the validators. There's a benefit going to the team. We got to make sure we take care of the team. We got to make sure we take care of the validators. Um, at some point, they have to they have to st step aside and say, how are we taking care of the miners? You know, the guys that were with us with the OG miners, the guys that were with us prior to the happening, the, the guys that have been with us all this time up to 2022, where they where, you know, we plug these things up in our house. We, you know, made rigs with antennas hanging off the side of buildings and in houses and in churches and all over the place. Um, it's not going to be um, I think there there is some additional calculation that needs to be done to ensure that we are, you know, benefiting the miners as well and making sure that the people who have been early adopters are continuing to, you know, be able to reap some benefit from these additional networks, whether that's as you bring in a uh, Bobcat, uh, you know, as you bring in Bobcat 5G, hey, Bobcat, all your 5G miners need to be, there, there should be, some preference uh, handed to miners who already own Bobcats, you know, who already have Bobcats um, to get the updated version of some sort, you know, because, um, I mean, I just don't think it can work in this way. Like, I think the, 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 if Helium wants to continue to be what it's professing to be, which is a people's network. Now, if they sell out and they and they're able to stand up a bunch of dishes, you know, all over the place and stand those up, I think that's part of that was part of their problem, right? Is that they couldn't do it traditionally. They couldn't go in and just buy up a bunch of towers, cell towers, and you know, put put cell servers out there. They had to piggyback off of something else, some other network, and use the people as that piggyback device. And I think with each of these networks that's going to have to exist, right? And if it and, and for that to exist, you need people to mine. You need people to plug these devices in. Whatever they are, whether they're uh whether they're LoRaWAN or 5G or Wi-Fi, they, you're going to have to plug in to use it. You're going to have to have something plugged in for this network to grow. Which brings me back to my primary point. Helium is missing the boat when it comes to taking care of the miners. You know, you can make Lord Wayne as small a piece of the, of the pie as you want, but you can't have a 5G pie without those same people that already stood up the network. Or you can have new people come in and, and buy up hotspots, but what do you, how effective do you think that will be given the fact that you, screw, that, that, that you may be screwing one, a, a different network? Like, oh, okay, let's, you know, so... So I, th those are just some of the thoughts that go through my head as I read through this and as I've digested like all of this information, all of this information, when uh, all this information that's been out here, you know, I've heard a lot of, a lot of, a lot of miners out there upset, a lot of YouTubers out there upset about this particular choice. And uh, I think it's one of those things where like, you know, it's it's kind of like the miners are like uh, like the first wife. Uh, you know, you see people, uh, the first wife or the first husband of somebody who becomes successful, right? And then becomes successful, and then it's like, oh, you got, you know, it's like things don't work out with, in that relationship um, because they're looking past you or, you know, now they know 
something different. And so they want to go get somebody else. But, you know, I think that the, the strength of the helium network is still going to be tied to these guys over here with this Lord land when he, with these Lord WAN devices. And as these 5G devices become available, I think it's important for helium to dictate that, you know, that these guys get taken care of. Now, whether that's doing like they do with the team and with the validators and saying, hey, all you guys that are OG miners, you know, you were here prior to the happening. You were, you know, you were here, you know, you were here prior, you, you were here in prior to HIP 51. There's a piece of the pie that that's just going to sit over here for you guys um, to make sure that you guys get taken care of. So no matter what happens with Laura Wayne, Laura Wayne could go crazy and, you know, be, you know, 20 percent for some reason. Um, or it could become that one percent. Who cares? There's a set aside. There's a set amount of rewards that are always going to be set aside for those OG miners because those are the proof of coverage miners, the OGs, the proof of coverage OGs. So I think there's an opportunity still there for, uh, and, 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 and what I'm hoping is that Helium sees this as well as an opportunity to make sure that they take care of their OG miners. Because if you screw us here, if you screw me here in Lower Wan, and I've gotten several phone calls and text messages today of people I know trying to get rid of their devices, trying to sell off their devices because, you know, either one, you know, they, they might not have gotten them set up or maybe they're still waiting on one or two or whatever the case may be. Um, and they're not really profiting from it right now because Helium uh, H&T is only at eight bucks a token. Now they come in with this HIP 51 where they're saying they're going to do this redenomination where H&T is up here. Right. And now you're in your individual dials based upon what network you're supporting under the helium umbrella. And it and they make it seem or feel as though they're going to totally move away from Laura Wan and focus their energies on these other networks, networking partners, which is great for the guys who just stake H&T. Great for the guys who are wells and just, you know, have money to throw at it. But without these guys over here, the guys who plug, the, you know, the guys like uh, the guys and gals out there like myself and, you know, um, you know, the various YouTubers, the various uh, mom and pops, you know, the local guys and gals that plugged up devices and put antennas in their in their uh, attics and such. Those are the guys that make it the people's network. Those are the guys that are going to make us hit a million hot spots before the end of 2022. So I would I would I would urge Helium to take a look and think of what things they can do to make that group those 800,000 Helium hot spots. You know, these guys these guys here, these 840 44,000 hot spot owners what, what they can do to entice them, to make them feel like they're a part of this. Because uh, I can tell you at large, the community feels as though this HIP-51 is a, is a direct attack and a move away from Laura Wan that basically says, screw you guys who pl who plugged in a box at your house. We You're going to have to buy a new box if you want to be a part of what we're going to do next. And I think that's a terrible idea. It's a terrible way to move. That's a it's a quick way to, to have people move away from your project altogether. So um, those are just my thoughts. Those are just my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Have you voted on HIP 51? Do you think this this DAO idea, even though like as popular as the, as the term DAO has been over the last 12 months in the in the crypto space, all of them have failed. So I like I would stay so far away from calling anything a DAO at all if I was if I was helium. Like I would never call anything a DAO because uh, that term has been used. It was a hot term for a minute, and everything that has that term on it crashed, burned, bye. And it, and it, and if there is a DAO that's still alive, that is still profitable, that is still 
has users that are that have made money and are still making money right now, please leave leave a comment of that DAO down there in the comments because I want to check it out. I want to I want to know about that DAO. Anyway, um, let's take a quick look at the Helium board. These are my hot spots over the last 24 hours, 0.3 HNT. Last 30 days, 12 HNT. Not bad. Not bad. 12 HNT, like back in the back in the good old days of $50 HNT, that would have been uh, you know, five uh, uh, six hundred bucks for a month for 30 days. Not bad. Six hundred dollars in a month. You know, that definitely would have killed yeah, that definitely would have stopped, kept me from having to drop lift or anything like that. Right, as far as like a side hustle is concerned, um, so you know, not bad. You know, we still stack, we still stacking up our H and T. We all the time we've earned 194 H and T, and but and our balance are, are is currently 161 H and T, almost 162 H and T. Like I said, the only little amount that we did take out last year was at all time high, so that we could pay uh, pay ourselves back for the hardware that we purchased. Um, Let's take a look at the top earners while we're in here. Get back to some fun news. You know, some of the 24-hour reward. I don't know why Wild Cannabis Coyote is up here. But, you know, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.1, 1 1.5, 1.5, 2.1 HNT over the last 24 hours. 2 HNT, 2.7 HNT over the last 24 hours. This is Pet Wintergreen Millipede. Let's take a look at it on the map here in uh, North Carolina. Sheesh. God, dog. Look at that. That bad boy is covering all of North Carolina. Look at that. That is bananas. Look. Let's go ahead and copy this out right quick. I'm going to copy this out. Let's take a look at it here. Okay, that, that didn't work. There you go. All right, that's in Cary, North Carolina. Let's take a look. Okay, it's a Curlink hotspot with a six DVI antenna that is 50 meters up above ground. Wow, perfect transmit scale. Man, look at that bad boy. Look at the coverage. It's bananas. Is this water around it? No. That's something. I don't know what this is. I got to find out what this is right here. This has to be something crazy. Because you see how there's not a lot of stuff by it. And then it's like mountainous. But that's that's awesome. That's awesome. So that's the number one hot spot in the world right now. 2.7 HNT over the last... 24 hours um as always look we we are out here trying to you know figure out this whole helium thing and i think we're i think we're going to continue to expand like uh, i think I, I still have high hopes for helium even though like it has definitely been a doom and gloom week and uh hip 51 i think is is interesting but I think it, it it's high time that Helium really take a look at what are what are they conveying to the miners? What are they conveying to their miners? Because I mean I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna buy I'm not gonna take my seven boxes and buy another seven boxes because oh well now they got five G. And then take those seven boxes and go, oh, I now I gotta buy another seven boxes so I can do Wi-Fi. Like, so um I think Helium needs to really get on board with how are they gonna take these miners in these locations because really that's where the value of the network is. The value is in the fact that there are eight hundred and forty four thousand locations where a hotspot currently exists to support the helium network. And if they are not if they are not incentivizing those same 844,000 to get into the next network and the next network and the next network that they add to the ecosystem, uh, Helium's going to fail. Or it's going to become like just a regular old 
networking company, a regular, you know, 5G phone company or something like that. It won't be this people's network. It'll be far, far from the people's network at all. It'll be owned by big dollars, which I think it already is to some degree. Um, but it'll be totally, you know, privately held and run by some big company. It'll get bought out and the people who created it will be able to sell it off and make a profit. And, and it, it'll be one of those things we talk about later at, you know, about what could have been because of all the promise that was here with all these hotspots all over the globe and what could have happened, but didn't because, um, because, you know, greed got in the way. So that's just my two cents. Please let me know your two cents down there in the comments. As always, I'm your main man, Johnny Clutch Cards, a.k.a. Johnny Clutch Crypto. I am always for the people, by the people. You only got me and the Constitution. Remember that.